This morning I thought I would share a simple measuring tool that you can use on hot material or out at the stock rack while you're checking to try and find do you have any more 3 8 bar or whatever and that tool is a gap gauge. Most of us have seen these little sheet metal gauges and it's really the same concept. It's just a series of little spaces that are of a specific size so you can use this for comparative measurements. Really it's nothing more than a pair of calipers that have fixed dimensions so you don't have to try to adjust it to what you want. It always has the right setting. So a gap gauge for blacksmithing is really nothing more than something that has some slots cut in it that are specific size. This one it is quarter inch up to one inch in various dimensions so you can check three-eighths bar or half inch bar if you want to know if that's half inch you can measure it there and if you're working at the forge this is very handy as you size stock down for instance the other day we were making tongs you can use this to check the the reins and see if you forge those down evenly or if you want to taper you know where the the size changes but you can compare one to the other that way quite easily and get very accurate measurements and because this isn't something super precise thin or delicate like a tape measure is it's just going to last and it doesn't really matter if it gets a little bent up or warped it still does its job they're pretty handy and you can make a gap gauge this one was actually made by a member of the Rocky Mountain Smiths that used to own a water jet company and he just had these cut out in bulk and was made them available to members of the group he no longer owns that company so this isn't available anymore but somebody probably makes one just like it or if you're an enterprising sort and you want to get into the business and have a plasma cutter or water jet there's an idea now this is a shop made gap gauge I just drilled holes in it the size I want this is for a specific project that I know I need to have a finished size of 11 sixteenths. Now before I swedge the bar, I use a swedge under the power hammer, I like it to start be about three quarters, so the first one is three quarters, so it ends up being a wobbly fit, but I want the 11 sixteenths to be kind of a snug fit, and it is, so that's a real quick easy way for me to check measurements. It's project specific, I don't have to worry about what size, you just know that these are the two measurements that I need for that particular project. And all it takes to make one of these is a drill the right size and either a hacksaw or a bandsaw to cut these slots out and then clean it up with a file. No big deal. You can forge the handle to whatever you want. Clay Spencer makes some versions of these that they're really closer to this one but they're heavier material and he takes the time to chase and inlay leaves and vines and scrolls probably spends a week making one gap gauge they're quite spectacular but if you had to buy one they'd probably be a thousand dollars tools he just makes it for himself because he really likes them and I don't think you could buy one from him at any price but that really isn't what I wanted to talk to you about I have a, a simple shop hack to acquire gap gauges in a variety of sizes that come pre-made, ready to use, you can get them at the hardware store, your home center, and that bargain tool store that everybody loves. These things are available anywhere and you probably already have a set. And that would be these things. You can get these in fractional measurements, you can get them in metric measurements, you can get them in long handles, you can get them in short handles, and they are extremely useful for doing quick measurements. They're all marked with what size they are, if you need one that is a half inch because you're trying to check a see if you've got a bar down to a half inch thickness but you want that bar to be three quarters inch wide when you get done no problem they make them they even come with this handy little hang hole I'm not sure what they make these for originally but they're great little gap gauges and that project that I was talking about earlier that I made this gauge for is almost as easy to just have a three-quarter that I know has to fit smoothly and 11 sixteenths it has to fit tight and I can sneak up on it 
checking measurements here and then get down to the final size, checking a measurement there. Probably you've already got a set. Um, if not, I don't know that I would go out and buy, buy a set of combination wrenches just because you need gap gauges. But if you have extras laying around or if you've got a cheap set that you later replaced with a nice set, using these in the blacksmith shop for measuring device is good. But if you don't have them and you need just something simple, this is not hard to make. This took me about 15 minutes probably using drill press, bandsaw, and a file. And that's really all that goes into it. So that's just a quick shop tip on a handy measuring device. Whether somebody makes these with a water jet cutter, you make your own cutting them out of sheet metal with a drill press and a hacksaw or a bandsaw, or whether you buy a set of combination or open end wrenches. Open end wrenches have a different gauge on both sides, but no way to hang them. Doesn't really matter. It's a handy way to measure. They're quick, they're easy, they're reliable, they don't change measurements over time and you're probably not going to hurt them too much using one hot material. This isn't in contact with hot iron long enough to take the temper and change it or to start scorching the, the plating, so I don't worry about that. If you're worried about it, there's lots of old wrenches out there that don't have plating or you could strip the plating off. That's a lot of work. In the long run, I think you'd be happy you're making your own, but the wrenches are a good idea. They work and I think you'll find lots of uses for that little technique even if it's just taking this out to the stock rack and saying I gotta find that 5 8 square bar and you don't remember which rack you put it on you can kinda test things and it might be easier than using a tape measure if you haven't trained your eye to recognize the difference between a 5 8 square bar and a 3 quarter inch square bar for instance so I hope that's useful hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up love it if you hit the subscribe button Take time to watch a few of my other videos. I think there's lots of stuff out there you might be interested in. Then get out to the shop, challenge your abilities, use your imagination, make something, stay safe, and wear your safety glasses. We'll see you later.